So hello everyone and welcome back or to my channel. My name is Erica and today I will be doing my July update because I forgot what number it is. I think it's six update for my project pan and uh, I'm wearing a tank top to show you this um, scar I got from falling off of my electric scooters. PSA, wear a helmet whenever you go uh, on an electric scooter because those things are really dangerous and luckily I had a helmet on so I landed on my right side and injured my whole right arm and a good chunk of my leg. I also did hit my head but because I had the helmet I was spared quite a bit of damage but yeah let's get into the video. So I'm going to start with the rollouts and the most exciting one so this is my NARS blush in the shade Deep Throats, and this was brand new when I put this in this project pan in January. I used this 17 times this month for a total of 119 uses, and you might be wondering, if you're not, that's okay, why did I barely use this this month? And the answer is because I hit pan in it. I remember I was doing my makeup really late at night when I hit pan on it because I hadn't done my makeup earlier that day. I was just playing um, and experimenting with looks when I hit pan. I actually hit pan on this three uses ago. So I guess at 116 uses, but I continued to use it because the pan was very small, but look at that. I'm very impressed. Like that, that's a pretty big pan. And it's gonna take me another two years to finish it, but I feel like this is pretty impressive, especially since it was brand new when I put it in this project pan and I cannot stop talking about it because I'm so happy and I will be rolling this out. Like I said in the past few updates, this has been a little bit too light for me. I'm not even wearing it today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to probably roll this back in or just use it up on its own in the later seasons when I'm not so tan. <laughs> I also just switched my powder so now I look less pale on camera and in person. So the next two products are both lip products and the first one is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glow. I no longer support Fenty. I think this is the last product I have from the brand which is not saying much because I only bought, no I bought three things from them but um, each one I found problems with it. I used this 13 times in this update for a total of 79 uses and I'm calling this thing done. Can you see the bottom? It's like really, really hard to scrape any product out. I basically have to dip this in several times to get a coat, so I'm calling it done. I've had this for a long time as well. I think I've had this since 2019. I got this in August of 2019. Um, because a coworker told me she liked it, so I decided to get it right before my no-buy. Would not repurchase this again because when you first have this product, it stings a little and I don't like my lip products to sting. The next product I have is the Dose of Colors um, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Warm and Fuzzy. I used this six times this month for a total of 61 uses and I'm like right about here. I feel like I'm halfway through out of my stomach. I haven't had breakfast yet. Um, and it's like one. <laughs> so yeah, this is this is more than halfway done. So I'm willing to call this quits. I'm pretty sure it expired on me because it became gritty and like at least one update ago I said that it started to smell funny. Like it smelled more like sour cupcakes instead of vanilla cupcakes. And even though I like sour food, I don't like sour cupcakes. So I'm going to be tossing this because no one else should be using it, especially if it's expired and also because it's not sanitary, especially at the moment. So I'm comfortable getting rid of this. I didn't love it, it and I feel like I used it way too many times for someone who doesn't actually love this product, but it was a present and I have a hard time letting go of presents. The next product that I am rolling out is the Dior Dior Simo 
Eau de Toilette. It's like a little perfume. It's a mini. As you can see, I'm holding it in my hand. This smells really bad. I used this 11 times this month for a total of 32 uses, and 32 uses got me to halfway, which me like, actually, I think it wasn't even full completely, so that means there's more than 32 uses left of this. This thing smells so bad. I... It smells like full mulching, which is basically like mosquito ointment and it has this like numbing sensation. <laughs> I don't like this. So I am going to be rolling this out. And this came in a set of like your perfumes my great great aunt, my godmother gave me. I actually had a dream last night that I called my godmother my great aunt, which um, I think she would have killed me for. But yeah, she got me more perfume and I think I have plenty of perfume to last me a while now and I have like a whole body spray that I'm working on and then a dupe perfume in like the big bottle. I just don't want to be hate panning or like, you know, even a mediocre panning. I want to work on products that I like because my collection isn't the smallest, but it's not the biggest and I just feel like whenever I'm hate panning I'm taking away time from products that I actually like so I have plenty of perfume in my collection that I like. And the last product I'm rolling out is from the NARS Dan Marie palette. It is the shade Orgasm and I pre I used this 18 times this time. I previously used this 37 times and this is what mine looks like right now. As you can see, it looks very textured and stuff. I'm planning on moving this year, hopefully, because our current place is too small, I think. I just really want to take out Orgasm and Super Orgasm and then get rid of these two on this side and also keep Casino right here. But yeah, I'm rolling this out because I used this, I used Orgasm with Mars Deep Throat to kind of darken it. But now that I don't even, now that Deep Throat isn't in this project, I don't really see a point in keeping this because I've been working on a different, um, I've been working on a cream blush. And when I wear the cream blush, I don't usually wear a powder blush unless it doesn't show up. And I am wearing the cream blush today. It's under my powder, so it looks more subtle, hopefully. But yeah, I don't see a point in keeping this in the project plan anymore. I got 37 uses out of it, which is more than I would have reached for it um, if it wasn't in a project plan, so I'm happy with that. I've actually panned a NARS Orgasm in the past, so it's not hard for me. Right, let's talk about the products that are staying in my collection. And the first one is this MAC matte lipstick in the shade Flatter Me Fierce. It's a pastel um grayish purp lavender it's basically lavender um color and this is how much i have left i previously used this no i used this four times this month and i previously used it five times so there's a total of nine uses on this my goal is to use this 50 times uh before i roll it out because there's no way i'm going to finish this i feel like even if i use it as like a cream highlighter, no, cream blush or a cream eyeshadow, I wouldn't be able to use this by the end of the year, which is fine. It's a very colorful lipstick and it's, you know, not for every day. And my biggest fear is that this is going to expire before I get to use it up completely, which I think is going to happen because this isn't brand new. I didn't get it brand new and I had no idea how old this is, but it's a cool color. The next product I have in this project pan is a lip balm. This is Milk Green Dragon, and I used this 16 times in this project for a total of 16 uses. And this is how much I have left. So I don't have that much left. My lips have, my lips get eczema in the summer, not the winter, in the summer. And right now it's at peak dryness. And yesterday I wore this when I went on a hike and like not even, an hour in, it was off my lips because it was so windy. I really like this product. I feel like it is a little bit overpriced if you buy it 
at full price, not a little bit overpriced. This is very much so overpriced if you buy it at full price, but I've learned to buy these in packs so that it is, you know, more worth it. And this is my favorite lip balm. But I would not go out of my way to just buy the single. Let's talk about the other cream products I have in my collection. So starting with my Bobbi Brown Long Wear Cream Shadow Stick in the shade Golden Pink. This is just, you know, like a 100 point perk. I used this 11 times this month for a total of 17 uses. And I'm pretty sure I rolled this in two months ago or two updates ago. But this is how much I have left, so not that much at all, but I think even like when it's in the tube, yeah, I barely had any to start with. I used half a centimeter, not one and a half centimeter, I can't think right now, um, which is about like a quarter of an inch. My goal is to use it up completely. I feel like that's not a problem because I am starting a new job at halfway through this month. <laughs> Um, which is actually Friday, so that's really confusing to me, but my brother and my mom explained it to me like that's because that's when the next payroll starts. So my first day is a Friday and then the weekend, so it'll be a very interesting um, experience. But anyway, um, because I have to go into the office more, I feel like I'll use this more. And also earlier in June, I went on vacation with my family to my brother's graduation and... I only brought this with me, so I was using it every single day when I was there. I think I used this at least three or four days in a row, so that definitely helped. And what else I, and I've also found that this is great for layering metallics on top of to make them really pop. So I've been doing that as well, and so my usage has increased. So I'm hoping in the next month it will increase even more and I can get this out before the end of the year. I really like this. But it's a cream product, so it's not going to last very long in my collection, even though I think this is, it has like a, okay, there's no shelf life on this. I think it was 9 months, 12 months, or 24 months. But I'm trying to use it up before then, obviously. I feel like this is an easy product to go through. The next product is my Milk Highlighter in the shade Lit. I used it 5 times this month for a total of 28 uses, and oh, you can't really tell. This is how much I have left. So I did kind of neglect this product this month because I was trying <laughs> so hard to hit pan on my, um, I was trying really hard to hit pan on deep throats. I didn't actually think I was going to hit pan on it this month, so I really thought I wasn't going to use this at all, which would in theory force me to roll this out because I have a rule. If I don't use an item in, for a month in one of my project pans, it has to be rolled out because that means, you know. I completely forgot about it and that means I probably won't use it but I did use this five times and I'm wearing it today but it's under a powder this is a really nice highlighter in my fantasy declutter which I forgot to edit a, um or I forgot to create a thumbnail for and also I forgot to include a description um because I just uploaded it and forgot about it but anyway in that fantasy declutter I said I would keep this because this was my favorite highlighter out of the three that I had, the three single highlighters I had. And I do really like this. I would consider buying a full size, which is, you know, going to last me quite some time. But I feel like cream products, because this is so subtle, it doesn't really show after I put powder on. So this works much better if I don't wear a powder, but I need a powder because I'm so greasy. So I feel like this would work well if I only had like a couple of hours left in the day and I did my makeup at night to, you know, just go to, I don't really go to parties, but you know, like go to friends for dinner for just a couple of hours, this would be okay. But otherwise I can't really see myself wearing this often and having it like show. So it's a little bit pointless to have this in my collection uh, or have a bigger size in my collection, but I do really like this product and my goal is to use it up completely, which shouldn't be hard because now this is my focus um, product. The last cream product I have in this project pan is my MAC Fluid Line Eyeliner in the shade Dip Down. 
I used this 15 times this month for a total of 57 uses. So this is what my progress on it looks like right now. Um, to be honest, I'm more gravitating towards my pencil than this, and I'm considering getting rid of this. I don't know when, at the end of this year or before I move, because this is okay, but I prefer the pencil so much more, and I know I'm not going to keep this um, past the end of the year, so for sanitary reasons, and mostly for sanitary reasons, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not terrible, I just don't like how I have to have a clean brush to use it. As you can see, my brush wall is pretty empty. There's no more like liner brushes. Ow. There's no more liner brushes. I can't raise my shoulder up too much or lower it too much because then I trigger, um, because then I rip the uh, scarring and then it starts to bleed. But anyway, um, yeah, I might actually get rid of this when I move because I, I don't want to keep products that I'm not going to use or that I don't love. So there's that. But I think I had a goal of using up half of this and I was so cocky at the beginning of the year. I thought I was going to get it done within a few months, but no, it's like month six now. It's update number six. So and it's still like only a third of the way done. Moving on to the last two products in this project pan, which are both eyeshadows. So I was working on the e.l.f. Hot Jalapeno palette. Again, like I said, because we're moving um, and I'm going to be de doing a declutter, I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I probably am, unless I hit my goal on this before then. But my goal was to hit pan on the middle two shades. And I, I don't really care if I hit pan on the right two shades of this quad because I don't really care for them. The, the gold in the hot jalapeno palette is, I can show you. So this gold is, I have golds in my collection. And then the dark green at the end is very patchy. So I don't really care if I use it up or not. So for the gold, I used it zero times this month for a total of one use. For this spring green right here, which is a metallic, I used this five times this month for a total of 11 uses. I used this green, yeah, I'm just gonna say green, uh, shade eight times this month for a total of 16 uses. And I used this darker green shade twice this month for a total of nine uses. So you can actually see quite um, a bit of usage, especially on this green, I feel like, for this past month. and. Even the matte green right here, because I used this with one of my Pando's eyeshadows quite a bit, and I did hit pan on one of them, so I used this to, um, in conjunction with that, because I found that that combination looked pretty nice. And this lime green, I'm actually wearing lime green, spring green, light green, I don't know. I'm actually wearing it today on my lower third. Because I like these two shadows a lot, and I don't really have it in my collection, I may choose to keep it, but erase the e.l.f. logo and just clean up the back so it looks like a generic palette like my other one and um, repress two other shades into here to make it look less like an e.l.f. palette and more like, you know, some generic quad. And the last product I have in this project pan is from my Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea to let my boyfriend pick one of my project pan items. But he, he picked this one. So I was supposed to use the shade Chocolate Gold 15 times before I could roll it out. I've used it twice and this is my progress on it. There's barely any dent in it. I think you can see where I was using it, but it, this eyeshadow is not going to be done by the end of this project unless I use like a really small brush, like a really thin brush, but I'm not going to do that. So. Yeah, this, I forgot how good this palette smells and I must have used this earlier this month because I was not reaching for it in the later part of June. So yeah, I have 13 uses left on this. So that's everything I rolled out. Now I'm going to roll some things in. So the first product I'm rolling in is this. This is my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Sculpture Palette. This 
is my only Hourglass purchase and the only product I own from Hourglass. My goal is to use this up completely or as much as I can before the end of the year because there's blushes in here and even though I'm good at hitting pan on blushes, it doesn't mean I'm good at finishing them. So I have a bronzer left, two blushes, a highlighter, and this powder that I use as a highlighter, so I'm just going to call it a highlighter. I did finish Diffused Light right here, and yeah. I really like this palette, and I'm going to be a bad person and say that I am going to buy the next holiday palette that comes out. Not full price this time, because I did pay $80, plus that fat-ass California tax, which they just increased. My goal is to use this up completely by the end of the year, which is why I removed the blush from, which is why I removed NARS Orgasm, so I had a better chance of being able to pan this completely. So, as you could see, the bronzer is like on its way out. It, there's barely anything left. It's all in the corners. I'm probably gonna have to use it as a loose bronzer. And I do have a, another bronzer in another product pan, but this isn't gonna take much. Like what, maybe I have, a month's worth of bronzer left in this and the other bronzer I have two months because it's my graveyard project pan to make progress on it so yeah the blushes honestly are going to be the hardest part because they are the most full but I really want to see an empty hourglass uh, ambient lighting sculpture by the end of this year and I think I can get very close if not do it so yeah I think this will be exciting the next product I'm rolling in is this Laneige Glowy Balm in the shade Scent Grapefruit. This I actually bought from a Marshalls a while ago and I w originally was not going to buy this because I was trying to reduce my plastic use but ever since finding out that there's a recycling program for makeup products I felt a lot better about being able to buy other products including this about like being able to buy plastic products because now I know it's going to be recycled properly. As you can see, I have quite a bit. You can see it better on the back side. I have quite a bit left and I'm rolling this into this project pan because like I said, peak eczema has started for me and that milk lip balm is no longer cutting it. So I'm bringing this out so that I can actually have a little bit of relief from my dry summer lips. My goal on this is to use it up completely. I don't know how hard or easy that will be because I know I will be constantly reapplying this anything <laughs> to not have dry lips but I have dry lips right now so anything to not have dry lips and yeah my goal is to use it up completely. I do have another one. The last two products I'm rolling in are both from Cover FX. This was part of their um, not there. This is part of a package I got from Cover FX. I forgot what it was for. I think it was from Sephora, but this is their primer, Water Cloud Primer, and this is their high performance setting spray. So I'm putting them in together because, well, I want to see if it works better together instead of, you know, separately. It did come with the powder, but I finished the powder, so I can't use that one as well. So yeah, I'm just going to try and use these together and get, you know, one primer out of my collection and one setting spray out of my collection. And I think it'll be nice to give myself a little bit of a break from the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, even though I used it today. But yeah, I just want to roll these in so I can use them up, get an opinion, because I haven't used another setting spray other than the Urban Decay one for quite a while. And that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit rambly because this is probably one of my better project pan updates. I'm just so glad to see my numbers going down and it's actually inspired me to go on an obi. So we'll see how well I do on that because I usually do well for a few months and then suffer <laughs> for the next few months. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in another month. Bye.